A disturbance in the northern Caribbean is likely to organize into a tropical depression or some kind of storm here. This is a look from around Cuba. It could develop into a storm sometime this weekend in the Gulf of Mexico or near Florida. Florida's governor already declaring a state of emergency. Thanks for watching the Fox 8 News at noon. I'm Chad Tucker. Fox 8 Max Weather Meteorologist Charles Ewing has been tracking the system. Charles, what do you see happening now? There, hey, Charles. Chad. Hey, here I am. We're just getting things ready. Got to talk about this potential tropical cyclone number four. And right now, number four is running over Cuba. And as long as this disorganized system is sitting over land, it really can't strengthen. So in the short term, not too terribly worried about it. It will continue to cruise across Cuba right now. The National Hurricane Center is keeping a very, very close eye on it. So that's why we're calling it a potential system. Now, once it starts to get away from Cuba, starts to get away from land, it would get let's say on the west side of Florida. So on Saturday night, this is when we could potentially have Tropical Storm Debbie, and let's go ahead and call it the future Debbie, will pretty much roll along the west coast of Florida. And then at this point on our Sunday night, it could be making the turn, perhaps making landfall across the big bend of Florida with winds of roughly 65 miles per hour. Now at this point on our Sunday night, lots of questions get involved. Will it just hang out across North Florida? Maybe just hang out across South Georgia, bringing them tons of rainfall or according to the National Hurricane Center, will this system continue to move off along the northeast, running along the coast of North and South Carolina, and maybe potentially, again, potentially, it could go on this path, maybe off the coast of Wilmington on Wednesday morning as a tropical storm with winds of 60 miles per hour. That's the potential we're looking at. You see a big, giant forecast area right here. So. Don't be locked in and so that the storm will be in that position on Wednesday morning off the coast of North Carolina. Now stay with us, folks. More about our potential tropical cyclone number four. Also, our weather right here in the Piedmont, which will include thunderstorms and some of that rain could be heavy. All right, Charles talked about the Atlantic over in the Pacific. Yes, forecasters say Hurricane Charlotta has formed deep in the Pacific Ocean, moving away from Mexico. The National Hurricane Center in Miami says that the storm's top sustained winds reached 80 miles per hour. It's moving at about 14 miles per hour, and the center of the storm is so far out to sea. No coastal watches or warnings were in effect. Now, you see that barcode right there? Fox 8 is keeping you up to date all hurricane season. Just scan the QR code on your screen to go to our website, myfox8.com. There you can track the storms and get the latest updates from our team of meteorologists.